Severance. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Jim Ryan, ABC News correspondent in Dallas. Good morning, Jim Ryan. Good morning. Yes, we're looking at something online right now, McGraw. It's called the Bunk Gang Challenge. I don't know if you guys are, are dealing with the same situation. I suppose everybody with uh, with kids is teenagers who uh, watch online and see these crazy challenges out there. This one seems a little more dangerous than just silly. You know, it started with that uh, the ice bucket thing, duck, dumping right. uh, ice water over your head. Well, this thing, the Boom Gang Challenge, involves uh, getting a friend to video you with a phone while you go out and, and commit crimes, uh, you know, mainly petty crimes, shoplifting, things like this. In one video I watched yesterday, a couple of guys, looked to be in their 20s, went into a liquor store, started uh, gathering up bottles of liquor. You hear a gun click from, uh, you know, the uh, gun cocking behind the counter, and the clerk was uh, fully ready to... Uh, to use that gun. They put down the liquor and they ran out of the store. Uh, so, you know, it's a dangerous thing. And the, these the people participating in this seem to have no fear at all of getting caught. I mean, with uh, high definition cameras and uh, their, their faces are fully uh, in view, and it's clear where so many of these people are, where, where they're carrying out their crimes. Let me get this straight. Now we have kids who were filming, purposely filming themselves committing crimes. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure the reasoning behind it. People have been arrested for this uh, in Florida. A guy who jumped over the counter at a Dunkin' Donuts and grabbed a tray of donuts uh, was arrested uh, later. You know, it's just uh, it's it's uh, beyond reasoning, really, comprehension of uh, how you're messing up your life with such a silly thing. Uh, they're, but they're not just donuts and cups of coffee and a liquor bottle or two, right? I mean, these I've seen some where they're taking like iPhones and like big ticket items. Exactly. And, and, you know, once you reach a certain level, you're up into felony range. You're not just, it's not a petty crime anymore or a, or a misdemeanor with a slap on the wrist. We're looking at potential jail time for this stuff. So I think there are a lot of parents, especially in the Carolinas, it seems to have started in the South, uh, where this is being done, Florida and uh, Georgia, the Carolinas, and, and parents there are concerned about it. They're, they're worried that their kids are, are going to find themselves in serious trouble. So, yeah, they're watching their kids' social media accounts very carefully. So uh, for those who haven't heard about this uh jim ryan H how big is it is it three or four people is it 10 or 12 or the thousands of these videos out there well i mean i've seen dozens of videos at least involving lots of different people and there seem to be sort of uh, serial offenders if you will some kids who post you know i say kids i'm talking about somebody from teens i even see preteens a couple of boys who were doing this in a joking way uh, acting it out acting you know if, if, making it look like they were committing this, although it was clear that people involved were uh, in on it. But, uh, and some of these folks have thousands of followers and thousands of viewings of their YouTube videos of them committing shoplifting offenses. What a world. Jim Ryan, Crazy. ABC News correspondent. Thanks for the, thanks for the heads up.